Hello everyone, welcome back to Command Wolf Gaming. I'm CWG and welcome to Power Washing Simulator. Yet again, here we are cleaning up the set to Back to the Future. Uh, that's right, this is the Back to the Future set. This is actually the clock tower scene. Uh, I can actually remember this off the top of my head. Uh, where they have to use a lightning bolt to get 20, what was it, 21 gigawatt watts of energy uh, to power the uh, time machine. So, uh, yeah, we got we to gotta clean this all up, make it sure it looks nice. Oh, God, there is, like, untold amount of garbage on here. I, I always keep saying this, and I know it's a video game, and it's just like, how, like... How did this face get dirty? Then the rest of it is clean. Like, my God. Also, seriously. Wow. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, we're actually kind of uh, working on this uh, today. Uh, I'm probably just going to do this one today and not do a second one because uh, this, this might take a bit. Might take a bit of time to uh, accomplish. I'm still seeing dirt on here. Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't realize I was going to get a <laughs> get on top of this, but okay, we can do that. Wow. Um, eek. Okay, no, nope, that's not going to work. Let me move this over here. Uh, anywho, yep, this is what we're doing today anyway, uh, cleaning up this set. Oh, I think there is a lot to do on... Oh, God, no. Uh, I think there is a lot to do on this piece. Uh... uh so we are gonna take a look around. Okay, good. Look around in just a hot second. I want to get these small finicky things out of the way because it feels like a lot of this is gonna be just one huge uh, like cleaning, you know? Because uh, so I want to do all these small little tiny things uh, so they're not like bothering me in the end. And I'm like, okay, where is this? So all right. So now that we got that cleaned up, is okay. Doors are open. So let's, no, I didn't take a look around before. I just, <laughs> I just naturally will. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Moving things. Oh, is the clock moving? Clock's not moving, but everything else is moving. Okay, uh, we're going to start on the inside because I want to do the finicky things first. So, uh, let's let's get to this. Uh, this is this is going to be one hell of a time, I tell you now. Uh, so many nooks and crannies. To, ooh, can I? I'll put that up there for now so it's out of the way. All right, well, here we go. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, that's, um, I didn't expect that. Apparently, you can interact with the bell and actually ring the bell, and there's a reward for that, a little credit for that. Um, anyway, I, I'm, I'm actually almost done with this interior section, as in all the little small finicky parts here. Uh, at least I think I am. I know there's going to be one or two things I am missing. Um, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Like, for instance, this clock tower bell. I'm trying to figure out where I'm missing. There we are. Come on. There we go. Well, another piece done. Now, um, I did forget to uh, say this in the beginning. We are doing a donation campaign for Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots is a foundation uh, where they uh, give toys to the little ones during the holiday season because I really do believe that, uh, you know, every little kid deserves to get a toy uh, for the holiday season, especially for the, uh, those uh, less fortunate and uh, cannot afford to buy their children toys. Uh, so uh, the link is down below in uh, the description section as well as attached to this uh, uh, QR code that's on the screen. So if you want to make a donation, uh, you can actually go through that link, and uh, it would be very much appreciated. I am actually currently working on an incentive for those who actually do want to um, make a donation. Uh, it's going to be a... I'll get, uh, as soon as I can get it done. I, I got the template done, but I'm still kind of working on it. Um, it's going to be a Christmas ornament or a holiday ornament, however you want to describe it as. It's going to have my avatar uh, on the front, and obviously uh, for those who uh, re meet a certain requirement, they'll have their username on the back. So yeah, if you do want to help support uh, Toys for Tots, right, that is a great way to do it, and that, that'll be the incentive uh, for that. So. Uh, currently, we are only working on a $10 donation. Again, I will be making my own donation at the end or towards the end of the campaign, which would be December 24th at 6. I think I have it set for 6.30 p.m. So, yeah. Uh, but currently, uh, I'm scheduled for December 23rd at, uh, at whenever I feel like on December 23rd. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, all the uh, money that we do make uh, during this uh, donation will just help uh, the system run uh, and get toys and obviously all those uh, people that actually do help out with the system, you know, uh, all the delivery trucks and stuff like that. Uh, that. So, yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so I, th okay, I think, again, I got everything in here. Here, as far as I could tell, Oops, we had a couple buzzes right there. Uh, I'm not going to worry so much about the beams yet. I'm not going to be doing the, uh, this yet, but we're going to go and walk out here. Oh boy, and kind of get all these nooks and crannies because I think I can go from there and shoot up into here, right? So we're just going to try to get around here, and get as much of this stuff as possible. I know there is a mode where I can... Yeah, there we go. I don't actually like this mode because I, I, I like to be able to look around while doing this. But, God, my God. It, this, this does make it a little bit easier just to kind of like... So I'm not shaking my head back and forth and getting a little bit nauseous. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, let's get right in here. Alright, let's just get the clock tower face done. Like that. All the way around, like a so. Right, so that's the rim. I have to actually go around that. We kind of get this poor animal done. Now, I know these statues are being used as quote unquote uh, gargoyles. But honestly, these are like incorrect. Uh, if you guys don't know that, uh, well, I have a little fun fact for you. Gargoyles were actually originally designed to protect uh, places from evil. Uh, that's why they kind of look a little bit hideous. Uh, they, they were actually uh, literal protectors 
Uh, so if you do get like a little gargoyle or something like that, it's supposed to protect your house uh, for, or like a church or something from evil beings uh, from trying to uh, get in. So like, uh, you know, evil spirits and such like that. So that's that's what they are meant to do. Uh, that's why you can kind of see them in old like cathedrals and stuff like that like on the corners and stuff Yeah, I actually found that a fact out a long time ago a long time ago uh, In regards to that I, I find it fascinating right that they use something that looks horrible to protect something that is essentially spiritual when uh, in all uh, Sense of the being we have a bunch of like angels and stuff like that or at least in uh, Catholicism right or Christianity or whatnot we have angels and stuff like that but then we use something that looks inherently evil uh, to protect our holiest of places right and I think actually they do it in old-fashioned homes at least here in uh, the States right up in the corners they would put like uh, gargoyle-esque creatures uh, to protect uh, the corners because they thought they really strongly believed that um, you know with especially with high vaulted ceilings and everything that uh, the evil spirits like to hide in the corners right uh, of rooms and that uh, because those were the darkest parts right uh, when you think about it like when you turn on a lamp in a room it's not really that bright right but that light protect quote unquote protects you from those evil spirits and then um, yeah, so those uh, e uh, those uh, beings, those gargoyles uh, that are mounted in the side of the room, the, uh, they actually prevent the evil spirits from uh, being uh, in those corners of the room. Um, it's actually quite fascinating, honestly. So, uh, do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm talking about gargoyles now. The, the <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys are not done. Panther statue here. Was it in the mouth? In the mouth? On the body? Where are you? Where are you dirty? You're dirty there. Oh, might be on the backside here. Come on. Eat a dirty kitty. Okay, panther statue done. You're not done yet, so it might be on the butt. On the butt. But, but, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. All right, so, uh, let's see. All right, we got the outside over here completely cleaned out. Now we got to do the <laughs> inside here. This might take a little bit longer because we do got a lot of uh, curves and arches in here. It might not be too bad. I like to do things in sections, so they might uh, it might run a little bit faster than I really think it will. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I got a feeling this is going to take a bit to just kind of get around all these little corners. Oh my dear lord! Very dirty ceiling. Very dirty ceiling. I do find this act uh, stupendously uh, fun actually playing. Uh, you know, back to the future kind of uh, level because uh, the, the details of it, you know, like if we go over here, we take a look, see this, this is actually part of the edge where Doc Brown uh, pretty much almost fell off while he was trying to connect the cable. Um, it, it's it's super cool how they ha uh, included uh, some details from the movies that, uh, they, well, they include a lot of details from the movie. So I am all for it. Uh, for them to, uh, doing this stuff. Oh my dear lord. Uh, I really want to get to the outside. <laughs> that's where I really want to get to. Uh, because that that's going to be the nice nice cleaning mode. This this is all the finicky interior stuff that has to be addressed. And it's just like every it's it, like all in the nook and crannies too. That's the thing. Ugh. All right, I think I got everything in this room, which is actually fantastic. I can now get out of here. Okay, no. Never mind, I lied. Uh, okay, now maybe I didn't. Wait, what? Again, the small finicky things. That's that's a, what always gets me. Okay, 
This room is clean. Now we can go downstairs. And then we can clean the outside, which it, I don't think it's going to be long, but uh, there is uh, plenty to do. Let me just clean these front doors real quick, like so. Gotta have clean front doors. Very clean front doors. Oh, God. This is going to be absolutely atrocious uh, doing all the details. Well, you know, it's not that bad, honestly. It's, it's, it's getting it done. Oh, hello. Right down there. Right down there. Now, it's probably not going give, to give me the frame or anything because uh, of that portion up there. I'm probably missing a huge chunk of that. All right. Here comes uh, the somewhat fun part. I'm going to center that in the middle. We're going to go up. Eh, this is not centered. This is not centered. Center that in the middle. And we're going to go all the way up. Actually, no. We'll start at stages. We're going to go this we're going to do the extra long and just sweep back in for it. This is probably going to take a huge amount of time, honestly. Yeah, I feel like... What? Seriously? I really need, like, a the Uber Deluxe Power Washer because this is going to take significant amount of time to do. Well, if I do it from, like, this way, right, and just swing my mouse back and forth, it might work. And the issue is that as soon as I go up with the, uh, yeah, that's the, that's that's. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna be here for quite a while taking care of this. Should just do what I was doing before and just steady strokes back and forth, and then we'll get this all nice and clean.
All right, my God, this is taking a while. Um, I, I, I'm flashing yellow right now because I'm trying to get as much of these like little spots, but I feel like I'm probably gonna have to get down on the ground to get them. Uh, I I only can do so much with the the stuff that I have, you know. So it's just like uh, getting around these corners and everything. I could always reposition this, but I'm trying to prevent myself from uh, actually doing that because um, right now I just I just want to do like a general cleaning. But at the same time, I'm trying to get as many many of these spots done and over with so that. Um, I don't have like a huge amount that I'm gonna have to clean up afterwards. I keep dinging windows, which is fantastic. I don't have to worry about them as much. The windows are actually a bit of a pain in the rear end. Not the window itself, but the, the frame. The frame around the window, they're kind of a bit of a pain, as, as well as door frames, right? Those are pretty much a pain. Oh, watch this, ready? Open. Oh, Close. <laughs> uh, the first time I did that, I didn't realize I did that. And I'm like, wait, is there somebody actually in there? Uh, and uh, there, there, there wasn't anybody in there. But it was just me. You know, I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, uh, oh, my God. come on. I just got to get this front. Luckily, these are separate pieces and not one huge one. But that probably makes it a bit worse when it comes down to the end. Because I can't get any further up. Oh, my Lord. Whoop! I knew that was going to happen. Come on. I need a ding. A ring a ding ding. Right. Got those tops. I'm definitely gonna have to reposition. I de I definitely see that. Oop, there we go. Another one. Can I jump? Jump, jump. Where are you? Oh, right along the edge. Okay, so those are done. Now, I did see this. There we go. Gonna make sure those are done. Come on. Alright, I think I'm now gonna have to go on the ground and clean a little bit better here. There are still some spots up here that I'm going to have to come back to. I think I got to actually move this over a bit. Like move this over here. Right? Because then this allows me a better angle at a lot of stuff. Like Jesus. Look, look how much stuff I missed. Oh my lord. A lot of this stuff I'm going to have to catch on the back side too. That's another thing too. So that's, that's going to be fun. All right, we are down to the last uh, couple of things here. It's been a long time coming. Oop. Eh, well, that's done. Let's see. It says capital, which is, I'm assuming, that portion. Now, I actually had to break out some additional tools. I broke out a ladder down here to help me get at some of these things. It says pilster shaft times four. Where did I miss that? Well, it's got to be one of these columns, right? Oh, did see a little thing on there. Hold on. God dang it. <laughs> ah! Just allow me to get up the ladder. Thank you. All right, so I'm going up like, okay, there we go. This one's still a little dirty. Dirty where? I have no idea. Maybe it's on the back side. I, it's... There's so many nooks and crannies on these things, right? That it's hard to tell where it where it is exactly. Um, I've, been, I've been spending a lot of time finding um, some surfaces that I thought was clean, but ended up being dirty. So 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> Save the clock tower. Complete the clock tower job. All right, cool. Let's let's see how this whoop went a little too far back. Uh, let's see how this went. So funny how in the beginning, um, you know, you don't see anything until I really, really get outside. And I'm surprised they don't add in the scaffolding or like ladders that I used. I think the reason why they do that is because um, obviously uh, it, it'll block the view from actually you doing the job. Oh, the hell am I? Uh, 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 the, the, doing the uh, thing about Bobber. Taking a uh, like seeing the actual job. Ugh, this looks like it's going to be another long one or another big one. Let's load into it. Let's see what we got. Um, I, I'm actually kind of... Uh, Curious to see what the Hollow Max theory, uh, theater looks like up close. Okay, so I still have that extension. Let me turn that on. X. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Is he going to do it? <laughs> now that, that's good. Shark still looks a uh, fake. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Um... I just want to clean this real quick because I remember them uh, showing a poster inside like for preview. Wow, this is that's really caked on it's like dirt over graffiti. Jesus. All right, but there is no poster over here. I remember seeing a poster. It's it literally had, um, you know, the back to the future of uh, Saying, saying what this this uh at least add-on was where is it is it gonna be in here no it's just it's just jaws 19 well that's a little disappointing any any nope another jaws 19 poster seriously Yep. Yeah, no, it's it's just Jaws 19 posters. That's actually a little bit disappointing. I was looking for the the poster that they had that introduced uh, this, this, at least this Back to the Future stuff. So that's wait, wait. Oh, okay. It, uh, mm. Now I'm wondering if uh, if I actually turned around and looked around if I saw the Hollow Max Theater in the background. That is annoying. That's like slightly annoying. This is actually pretty cool though. I, I, I love, I love looking around here. Is there anything back here? No, just a blank wall. Okay. So, um, anyway, we're, we're gonna, uh, say this, we're, we're gonna say this now. So, um, again, if you guys want to make a donation, uh, to Toys for Tots campaign, use that QR code or that link down below in the description section. It is going to a good cause, uh, for this holiday season. And it's very much appreciated, uh, again, uh, so uh, please, if you can, make that donation. I It would be very much appreciated. Um, you, you don't know how many times I've actually did this donation campaign and nobody donated. And this year we actually got one. I'm actually happy about that. Um, I will, again, I will be making my own personal donation for uh, to Toys for Tots. So, yeah, make sure to, uh, if you want to help support, check that out. Anyway, guys, I want to thank everyone for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. I hope they enjoyed the footage. Did you guys know about 10% of you are actually subscribed to the channel? That's right. About 10% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell notification button to uh, be notified on when I'm updating the channel. Because I'll be trying to update the channel as often as possible. Now, if you do want to get some exclusive material that you're not going to find here on YouTube, make sure to follow me on Rumble, Odyssey, and or Kick. That's right, Rumble, Odyssey, and or Kick. Links will be provided down below for those websites. And on those channels, every single Wednesday night, this is every single Wednesday night at 6.30 or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be live streaming exclusively to those channels. 
So if you do want to get some more exclusive content that you're not going to find here on YouTube, make sure to follow me on one of those channels. Now, we also have a Discord. That's right, we have a Discord community. If you want to follow me, again, link will be provided down below. And on the Discord, you will be notified on what I'm doing with the channels, what's getting updated, what's changing, and so much more. As well as joining the wider community, uh, not only from YouTube, but also Odyssey, Kick, and uh, Rumble. So make sure to follow me on there. Anyway, <clears throat> if you do want to help support the channel, uh, we do have an exclusive merchandise store. And in that merchandise store, we do have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, baseball caps, and uh, beanies, uh, as you can see here. And in uh, everything on this store, I have purchased myself. And right now, we're running a holiday exclusive in regards to uh, certain stuff here. So, for instance, like this ba baseball cap that I brought up. This is holiday exclusive. You're not going to find it after the holiday. If this is running until December 25th. It has me pulling my reindeer. Uh, or my reindeer pulling me in my Jeep while I'm firing uh, Christmas presents out of a rocket launcher. And then we also have, let's say, this Christmas t-shirt. That is a, I call it the ugly holiday t-shirt because it's kind of ugly. <laughs> well, the best ugly I can make it. So <laughs> um, I do actually uh, purchase everything out of uh, this store to make sure everything is comfortable. In fact, I'm wearing one of the t-shirts right now. So if you do want to help support the channel, make sure to pick up something from the merchandise store or you can use the uh, tip link down below. I know Rumble and Odyssey, they have their own tipping system. But if you do want to leave a tip, there is will be provided a tip link. Um, anyway, guys. I want to thank everyone for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Spread the love. And I hope to see you next time here on Command Wolf Gaming. Bye-bye now.